All right, all right. Welcome to the live stream. Happy, what day is today? Thursday. Happy Thursday, my friends. It is Christine with Gage Girl Training. I am thrilled to be chatting with you today. And you guys are in for a treat. You are in for a serious treat because this chat, this chat that we are going to talk about is going to be a really big game changer for you guys. Um, as you guys join the live, please comment where you are from and somebody let me know how we're doing for audio. But um, I hope that you guys are having a great week. I've really been enjoying making these videos for you about just the practical tips and practical things that you guys can be doing. But today I have a game changing video for you guys. And we are talking about seven ways to help you lose weight that has zero to do with diet and zero to do with exercise. So you might be asking like, well, Christine, like what could that possibly be? How can I lose weight without focusing on my diet or my nutrition. So it's Christine Harmonic, food scientist and chemical engineer. Welcome to the live stream. I'm so glad you guys are here. And I would encourage you guys, please give the live stream a thumbs up and comment where you are from. So seven ways to lose weight without diet and without exercise. When your life is filled with chaos and disorder and you feel like you've lost control, that loss of control, it puts you in a mental state of what I call survival mode. Who knows what I'm talking about? Hello from Zambia. Hello from Florida. Who knows what I'm talking about when you are in that, that survival mode, when life is chaotic, it's disordered, you have no control, and you feel in your mind that whatever choice you need to you just make the best choice you need to make in the moment to regain that control um hello Deshaun burns i took your advice and got my hormone checked at the beginning of this year and baby i have some news and i love it all right so the thing is when you are in this mental chaotic state you just feel like you need to survive and you feel like the next the next choice that you make is just more for survival. You're not really thinking about eating the healthiest thing. You're just like, look, I got a lot going on. I am just going to do what I need to do. A hello from Las Cruces. So for example, let's say dinner's not ready. You have a whole family to feed, so you just order a pizza. Or let's say that you're late for work because you just couldn't find something to wear. Or let's just say you stopped for fast food somewhere because you didn't eat breakfast. Like, And it's chaotic, right? The thing is the number one step you need to take and not in any particular order to lose weight without including diet or exercise is to make your bed in the morning. I know that sounds so crazy. I know that sounds so crazy, but how many of you guys make your bed every single morning, like religiously? I mean, get up, you make the bed. And I'm talking it's either as soon as you wake up or right after you get out of the shower. And it only takes about five minutes. And I know this might seem a little odd, but seeing your, me your bed made first thing in the morning, it's going to give you a sense of peace. It's going to give you a sense of peace. And the thing is, if you don't do this, I want you to give it a try and I want you to see how you feel. And it is going to set the tone for the day. So why is this going to help you lose weight? It's going to start your day off with a healthy routine. And sometimes, you guys, it only takes one healthy choice to get the rest going. And when, when for me, when my bed is made, I feel a burst of energy. And for some reason, that makes me productive. And it sets the tone for the day. Likewise, conversely, how many of you guys have just had one of those days where everything just feels chaotic, like 
can't find anything in the where your house is a mess you don't know what which way is what you have all this unexpected stuff coming at you and you feel out of control guys make your bed in the morning set the tone for the day it will make you more productive and it will start that catalyst effect to have everything else going now number two number two use a calendar um I, I don't know if I've talked to you guys about my love for calendars, um, but what gets scheduled gets done. And if it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist. And without your calendar, you're not gonna know where you need to be, what you need to do. And keeping a calendar is very critical to a healthy lifestyle. So how does a calendar help you lose weight? So it keeps you away from going into that survival mode keeps you away from going into that survival mode by reminding you what you need to do, when you need to do it, and where you need to be. And how many of you guys watching this don't use a calendar and you find yourself constantly forgetting things and maybe you're behind the eight ball and you were supposed to do something but you didn't do it. Um, it helps you plan your food in advance. It helps you exercise on a schedule. And I'm talking like everything write it down, write it down, schedule it, set alarms. And I love the iPhone because of all of the powerful calendar tools and whatnot. But guys, how many of you guys are using that? Use the alarms. Like it, there are, There is a way, where anytime you have an event, you can give yourself up to two alarms for anything you put in your calendar. It could be for a workout. It could be to plan a meal. It could be meal times. Guys, use your calendar. Use your calendar, use your calendar. Like, because the thing is, what gets scheduled gets done. And if you're here not working out, you're here not grocery shopping, you're here, put it in your calendar. Like, do you ever, um, do I have anyone here who's big on to-do lists? I like writing down to-do lists. I like checking things off the list. It gives me like such a great sense of gratification. And it could be like the most basic things, but when it's in the calendar, it could be the most simple thing. It reminds you. It reminds you of what needs to get done. Super rare her orange sweatshirt down. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, so tip number three is I want you guys to lay your clothes out the night before. So you will waste a lot of time in the morning if you're always looking for something to wear. And I don't know about you guys, but that chaotic energy of looking for something to wear in the morning. Now, this could be for yourself. This could be for your children. This could be maybe you you help your partner get all around, get going on their day. But it could send you into that, that headspace of just complete chaos. It puts you into survival mode. And guys, you can prevent this. You can prevent this by laying out your clothes the night before. And if you are just joining the live stream, welcome, it's Christine Heronic, food scientist and chemical engineer. We're talking about seven ways that you can, um, oh boy. We're talking about seven ways you can improve your weight loss without diet or nutrition. So with that being said, my friends, how is laying your clothes out the night before going to, per, how is that going to help with weight loss? It reduces survival mode. It, 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 it prevents you from going into survival mode and the unhealthy choices that will follow when you get stressed or are running late. Who here gets really stressed when you're running behind schedule? I know I do. When, again, when you get into that chaotic, panicked headspace, where you're running late or you don't know what to wear or your outfit's just not pulled together, you have some place you have to be or you just have to be getting something done but you just feel so frazzled. Guys, you can prevent that. And you can prevent that. And this has nothing to do with food. You need to figure out a logical way to organize yourself so you don't go into that frazzled, hectic, headspace. Now, number four, say no to things. 
out of all the things I've shared so far, this one has been the hardest for me personally, and we can only do so much. And there comes a point where you have to say no. And it could be, there could be things that are filling up your schedule and your brain and your mind. And the reality is it is draining the life out of you. How many of you guys know that you are not good with boundaries. You know that you need boundaries. You know that you volunteer and put yourself above and beyond and you're always trying to do the most and you want to because you care and because you're a caring person and because you're passionate and and like you want to be helpful and you want to love on people and you want to be the help. And the thing is, you guys, you have to get used to saying no. No is a complete sentence. If you know that you just do not have the bandwidth to take certain things on. Um, over committing is a big problem and it is a huge problem with women. It is a huge problem with women. And for me, um, I get stressed because I already have a lot on my plate and I end up practically killing myself trying to get everything done. And the reality is you're, you're gonna make yourself miserable in that process. And it's going to stress you out because you're not going to be able to fulfill your commitments and you feel like you're going to let somebody down. You have to learn to say no. And when you learn to say no and prioritize, you can focus on more of the things that are important to you. You can give your best and you can actually enjoy things. So how does saying no help you lose weight? Time is the biggest excuse um, for putting your healthy lifestyle on the back burner. And it's really easy to be like, I don't have the time. But if you say no to things, you are freeing time up to allow you to cook healthy meals for yourself. You're allowing yourself to have more time to exercise, giving yourself more time to sleep. And as a result, you're gonna have more energy because you're not tired all the time. So guys, that is why saying no is helpful. Now, number five, if you are just joining, we're talking about seven ways to improve your weight loss without nutrition and without dieting. Number five is you want to work on your relationships. And when I say relationships, I'm talking about with your spouse or significant other, your siblings, your children, your parents, your friends, your boss, your colleagues, or anyone you spend time with. And the reason why I'm saying this is because all relationships are important to you. And well, how do I say this? Any relationship that is important to you, when a relationship is unhealthy, it can consume your mind and negative thoughts. I have a friend who is miserable with her job, miserable with her supervisor, miserable with her coworkers, and she talks about this often. She's complaining often about it. It's filling her mind with negative thoughts. She doesn't feel valued as an employee. And these negative thoughts are just running through her brain and her mind and it's stressing her out. The problem is you don't, I'm not saying to not obsess over every single relationship, but the thing is you need to focus on the relationships that matter. And if they don't matter, you have to let it go. So the thing is, in order to work out your problems, you need to communicate. And as adults, you would think that that would be a pretty straightforward thing to do, but communication breakdown is going to add stress to your relationships. When there is stress in your relationships, it's going to make it really hard for you to focus on your health goals. And here's the thing, why does this help you lose weight? It helps you lose weight because positive relationships, they, allow you to have that peace of mind so that way your mind can focus on other things because you are not worried or stressed out. And I see this so often because women want to sweep things under the rug. They don't want to have uncomfortable conversations. They don't want to be stirring the pot or making things uncomfortable. They feel like, you know what, let me just suck it up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But Every time you suck it up and don't communicate how you feel in an important relationship, you are sacrificing a part of yourself. You're taking away your own peace. And by sacrificing your own peace, 
You are adding a level of stress to your life that is unnecessary. It's unnecessary for you to be that stressed out. So I encourage you guys, and this is a complicated one. You need to work on relationships. You need to communicate because too many of you guys are saying nothing, but deep inside you're resentful. Deep inside you're frustrated. Deep inside you want to punch a wall. <laughs> deep inside you are irritated. And when you are in that irritated, like stressed headspace, it's going to be very hard for you to focus on your health. Now, if you are enjoying this live stream, I'm glad you're here. I just ask one quick favor. Give it a thumbs up just hit that thumbs up button and if you're not already subscribed to the channel um subscribe hit the notifications bell so you know when i am live now number six you want to create a peaceful place for a few minutes a day now with our busy lives finding a peaceful place to relax and unwind it might seem impossible but how i think that it is important to find time just for for quiet solitude and to be at peace and again it doesn't have to be hours and hours i'm not asking you guys to go on like a meditative retreat i'm not asking you like <laughs> many of you guys seen that movie eat pray love with uh, julia roberts um there's a scene in the movie where she goes to india during like the whole pray part of the thing and she took this thing where she needs to like go in a prayer room and like pray for like an hour right and she's trying so hard but like her mind is just going nuts because she's like thinking and just going on stuff. I'm not asking you guys to be doing some deep meditative stuff um but what I am asking you guys to do is give yourself 5 10 15 minutes maybe it's listening to music um, maybe it is, um, after going to the, after your kids go to bed or after everyone's settled in, um, you can just recharge, but give yourself time to just, you need to allow yourself to have that time. Now, how is that going to help you lose weight? It's going to help you lose weight because if you have multiple roles, maybe you're a mom, maybe you're a wife, maybe you're taking care of your house, maybe you're running a business, maybe it's so easy to lose yourself. Where are my ladies at? Like how many of you feel like you do everything for everybody and you have so many hats and you have so many roles and you know, like in order to be the best version of yourself for your people, for the people that need you, you have to take time for yourself, time to reflect, time to hear yourself think. And that keeps you a priority in a sea of a million other things that are begging for attention. And you have to stop putting yourself at the bottom of the list. You have to. This is not optional. This is not optional. And too many of you guys are treating yourself like you are an option. You are not an option. You are a priority and you need to be a priority and you need to stay a priority. And when you stay a priority, that's going to help you lose weight. That is absolutely positively going to help you lose weight. Now, number seven, and this is the final tip. Put together a to-do list before bedtime. I love to-do lists. I love calendars and I could not survive without it. But because my schedule is so busy, it can be really easy to get distracted. It can be easy to get overwhelmed. And if, if you don't write things down and your, your to-do list, it downloads all the important things that are floating around in your mind put it on paper or if you don't want to write things down use the notes app in your phone and think about the major things that need to get done it could be you know personal stuff relating to your bills it could be setting up appointments it could be doing checkups for your dog for your kids for your family for yourself it could be whatever but do a to-do list and write out all the things you need to do it's going to keep your life in order. Nancy says, I always have to-do lists. You have short-term and long-term lists, and I think that is beautiful. Now, here's the thing. 
Write out the top five to six things that need to get done and then prioritize. Write down the things that need to get done and then prioritize. Now here's the trick with to-do lists. The longer your list is, you have to ask yourself when you look at that list, there's gonna be certain things on that list that anybody can do. There's gonna be certain things on that list that only you can do. And some of you don't delegate tasks that anybody can do. Some of you, and I appreciate that, Nancy. Um, so here's the thing. If you have stuff on your list that anyone in your home can do, delegate. Or if you run a business, or if there are certain things that you are doing that an assistant could be doing or a virtual assistant could be doing, like you have to really look at that list and be like, is this something that only I can do or is this something that anybody can do? And I'm telling you, some of you might benefit from hiring a cleaning service. I'm just gonna throw out a practical example. If it takes you, if your house is always a mess and you're always behind the eight ball and the amount of time it would take you to get your home clean and organized versus playing, paying a cleaning crew a hundred bucks a week to come in and do it, like that might be one of the best moves that you can make. It, you free up your, your, your time. It allows you to have more bandwidth for other things and you really need to think that through. So here's the thing. How is a to-do list going to help you lose weight? To-do lists are very powerful. They keep you focused. They serve as a reminder. They help you to prioritize what's important. And they reduce your chances of going into that chaotic mental state that I call survival mode. I want to get you guys out of survival mode and I want to get you into the headspace of thriving. And some of you are disorganized. You're disorganized. You don't plan ahead. You don't have clear objectives. When you say you're going to do something, you don't do it. Like you've got to be using your calendar. You've got to be planning ahead. You've got to be making that bed in the morning. And of the seven things that I just shared, I am challenging everybody who is watching this live stream to pick one of them. Pick one of these things and do it and do it because you can only improve. It is going to make your life easier. It's going to make your life better. And I want to see you guys succeed. So I'm giving you guys all of these pearls of wisdom because yes, you need to exercise. Yes, you need to eat correctly. That's very important. But you need to start from a foundation where you get yourself together mentally. And I know that when you're not okay here, when you're not okay here, Forget everything else. I'm a realist, my friends. I am not expecting perfection. I am well aware of the challenges that you guys are dealing with on a day in, day out basis. And a lot of you guys, we can't keep doing this damsel in distress act. We can't keep being this person who is always tired, who is always overwhelmed, who is always flustered because number one, you're gonna make yourself miserable. No one's going to want to be around you. It's going to compromise your relationships. It's not going to make you productive. It's going to make you bitchy. It's going to make you moody. And as a result, you're not going to accomplish anything. And there's just nothing good that's going to come out of being disorganized. There's nothing good that's going to come from that. And no one can do it for you. And as women, we have been given... A unique gift we've been given a unique gift and here's that unique gift how I believe I'm not sure what you guys think about this I believe that as women we set the tone for the entire household if we are in a good mood everyone else in the home is going to be in a good mood if we're in a bad mood everyone else in the house is going to feed off of our energy and as women, we are leaders in the home. We are leaders. And our energy can be very polarizing to everyone around us. So it is a unique opportunity to show up as a leader because you set the tone for your home. You set the tone for your children. You set the tone for your spouse. You set the tone in your work environment. And 
you are going to make that either a positive experience for everybody or you're going to make that a not so good experience and there's pressure associated with that i'll keep it real with you guys there's pressure with that responsibility with how's it go to whom much is given much is expected as women we have a really great great skill to be very caring we can handle a lot we can we can really handle a lot and i think women are superheroes when it comes to the ability to manage a home, cook meals for the family, keep things organized and keep the finances together, keep everything together and hold it down. But you need to be focused enough so that way you can handle taking care of your health. Now, if you are ready to dial this in with your nutrition, I have a huge sale happening right now on my five ingredients or less six week shred meal plans it's a hundred dollars off now these six week shred meal plans will get you results they will accelerate your fat loss and they're simple and easy to follow every meal is five ingredients or less so that means you're not going to be needing a million different things it means the cooking time is going to be faster it means the prep time it's just going to be simpler easier but the things are still good so if you need a really good meal plan, I am going to put you guys on to this. Now, if you've never purchased a meal plan for me, this is a great opportunity. Um, I am going to flip the camera real quick because I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. So we are on GageGirlTraining.com. And if you guys didn't know, I did write a book, Unlock Your Macro Type. Um, which is available on Amazon and it's a best-selling book. So the five ingredients are less six-week shreds. Um, it's available in original, paleo, and vegan. So paleo means this is dairy-free and gluten-free. Um, vegan, that is free of dairy and free of meat. So these are $100 off. They are only $49.99. You have to use this code GET100. Um, in order to figure out which one you should do, you need to figure out your macro type first. So you take this quiz. Um, that quiz, again, we are on gagegirltraining.com. So take the quiz. And then when you place your order, I'm going to show you right here. So let's say you want to do the original one. There's a drop down box. And you pick according to your macro type. So your macro type, you figure that out by taking the quiz, you add it to the cart, and then just make sure you guys add the promo code, get 100. You have to add this promo code or you will not be able to get the discount. So um, I hope that's helpful, my friends. And here's the thing. Everything I shared is going to help you lose weight without diet or exercise. Take these seven tips. Take these seven tips very seriously. But here's the thing that will put you in a place as a foundation to follow a meal plan effectively, okay? So invest in this plan because this is a huge sale. Even if you're not ready to start it today, start looking at the menu, start looking at the snacks, looking at the, because it has meal plans, it has grocery lists, it has recipes, it has macros. It is a steal, you guys. This is only $49. It is a game changer. It will it will change your life. It will change your body. And it will do so in record time. Um, when is the next hormone reset? Um, what do you mean? Are you asking in terms of when am I going to launch a new hormone reset meal plan? Uh, because I don't necessarily do challenges for the hormone reset. But if you have a suggestion around that or if there's something that i can be helpful to you guys and i would love to help you guys so let me know um if you are if you guys are looking for a new hormone reset protocols or what i could do to support that um but does anyone have a question does anyone have any other questions i am available to ask i need you to help with resetting mine how long is the sale going on? The sale is going on until Monday. So until Monday. So it is Thursday, so you have four more days. It ends Monday at midnight. 
Can you get this in the UK? Yes, you can get this in the UK. It is a PDF digital download and it is a one-time fee. It doesn't charge you every month. We don't save your credit card information, nothing like that. It's a one-time program. It's yours to keep forever. And you guys, this plan will change your life and you can save $100 off. And the thing is, it's worth every penny. It is worth every penny to purchase it at full price because the meals are just so good and so simple and so easy. Like guys, I have had more success on this meal plan because I don't know about you guys, I like variety and I love the idea of mixing it up, but I need simple, I need easy, I need something that is not going to take me forever to meal prep because if it takes you too long and it's too complicated, you're not gonna stick to it. Um, can I put the link in the chat? Um, ooh, let me see here. Let me see if I can do that. I think I can do that, one second. I'm going to have a team member do that. Um, but it is gaugegirltraining.com. And if do me a favor, if you miss it, Madam Blueberry, um, as soon as this live stream's over, I will put it in the comment section and I will put it in the description box. But I am going to have a team member um, show up and paste the link um, momentarily. So Sharon says, do you have to lift weights to bring up your metabolism to help with your hormones? Yes, yes, yes. Lifting weights is definitely going to help. And for my hormone reset protocol, there's actually a free gift if you invest in my hormone reset of a 12 week metabolic boosting training plan, which is designed for the hormone reset. So um, that will definitely help. Um, Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't, well, can I type it in? Dang it. Oh, well, wait, can I pin to a live stream? No. All right. Okay. You are fat driven. Will this plan work for me? The answer is yes. Um, the plan will definitely work for you if you are fat driven, but do me a favor. Um, because there's protein fueled plans, carb fueled plans, and protein, carb, and fat fueled. So take the quiz on gaugegirltraining.com as that's going to help you tremendously. And that will tell you what macro type you are so that you can order the correct shred. Now, if you guys want to learn all about the science of everything I'm talking about, my book, Unlock Your Macro Type, it's on sale right now on Amazon. I think it might be like eleven dollars it is so cheap um it's available in hardcover audiobook and ebook and it's only eleven dollars and ten cents right now on amazon so you guys can just type in um you want to lose weight even at 77 but you don't want to lift weights um so definitely check out my book but you want to get the meal plan you guys the meal plan is going to make it very easy for you to um, have success. Um, MT69, your plans are great, but my sugar cravings go up and down going through menopause, I guess, since I'm 54. But I'm on Mirena birth control, so no period. So symptoms are confusing, but he just got the hormone reset. So I'm glad you got the hormone reset. If you are able to, I am going to encourage you to please come off of the Mirena birth control because that is jacking up your ability to have stable blood sugar. It's introducing estrogen, which causes fat gain. And since you're not at a state where you probably need the birth control, the hormone reset is going to be a game changer, but pair it with the hormone reset supplements on gagelife.com because that makes all the difference. It makes such a big difference. Those, those supplements are so powerful. Like to me, they're more powerful than birth control. Um, what about cardio workouts on a treadmill? I think that is wonderful. I think that is wonderful. Sharon says, I am thinking of getting the book. The book is a really low cost way for you to get introduced to my teachings and 
um, everything that I'm explaining. I think that you guys will really love it. Like I said here, I'm going to um, just show you guys where it is so you know what it looks like. So we are here on Amazon. And this is my book, Unlock Your Macro Type. So you can just type in my name, Christine Heronic, or you can just type in Unlock Your Macro Type. But you can look over here. The hardcover is on sale for $11, you guys. That is so cheap. That is so, so cheap. And again, it's also available in audiobook. So if um, any of you guys watching this like the idea of reading a book, but you know that you are busy, grab the book because it's on sale right now, but I would encourage you to also grab the audio book so that way you can listen to it maybe when you're on the treadmill, listen to it when you're going for a drive. Um, it is a big thing. Um, let's see here. You're going to check out the Hormone Reset Supplements. You're going to love it. And if it's your first time ordering from my website, use code GL10 for an extra discount. Marina says, I'm on Ash Anna Strazel after breast cancer seven year messes my insulin. That you think this will help me? Oh, 100%. I have had so many folks, I have had so many clients with cancer. Um, pre, during, post, and on chemo who have done wonderful on my meal plans. And Marina, I think that you would do very, very well. Specifically, um, I would have you start on the hormone reset. That would be the best place I would have you start. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, now... Get the book you got the kindle version so you can read it on your kindle and cell phone is the truth now for those of you guys who do get the book i want to explain something important to keep in mind there's a couple ways you can read the book so the book is going to tell you what your macro type is so you might be tempted there's two main quizzes in the book there's a quiz at the end of chapter four that is going to tell you your carb tolerance and there's a quiz about on chapter five, it's gonna tell you your macro type. You might be tempted to just jump to the quizzes and you can do that. But I really encourage you guys to just read the book. And here's what's gonna happen. This book, it's not the type of book that you just read once and you put it back on the shelf. You're gonna come back to it as a reference book because there's meal plans, there's everything for how to calculate macros, there's recipes, there's workouts that come with it. Now, another thing you wanna remember about the book is um, it, I go deep in the science and I don't, I don't go light. Does that make sense? Meaning I give you guys as if you were measuring, like if you were in a college level course, like doctors buy this book. I just wanna tell you guys, I can't tell you how many medical doctors have come to me because if you have hypothyroidism, if you are in menopause, if you're in perimenopause, if you have no gallbladder, if you have whatever health condition you have, a lot of doctors don't know how to take what's going on with you and convert that into macros and a real eating plan. They'll be like, oh, you need to lose weight. It's like, gee, thanks. How? Right? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, and I get into the science. So you are going to learn so much. There are thousands of references in the back of the book, all from the scientific studies. And let me just tell you one last thing about this book because I am so proud of it. This book, uh, you said it right there. She goes, go to the doctor if you break a bone, that's it. And that is, that couldn't, that is so true. I'm so glad you said that. Um, it, I didn't just bang this book out. I have not, I didn't write this book to make a quick book. That, that's not why I wrote this book. This book took me seven years to write. I have been writing this book since 2015. It came out in 2022. And this book is the pride of my life. It is the result of me working with over 50,000 clients. And it's going to really introduce you to my teachings. So Again, it's a great place to start, but for those of you guys who want to grab the book, but you also want to take advantage of the huge sale that's happening on the website for the $100 off shreds, 
Guys, that's, that's a game changer. It's a steal. So when you are ready to follow your meal plan, grab it, take the quiz on the website, and we'll go from there. Um, does anyone else have a question? Um, LA Lane, she says you are so right about the magnesium glycinate. And I do offer the magnesium glycinate on gagegirltraining.com. No, sorry, gagelife.com. Gage Life is my supplement company. And if any of you guys wants to pick up any supplements, um, code GL10, it will save you if you're a first time uh, client. Now, if any of you guys wants to talk to me offline, maybe you don't wanna put all your business here on the comment section, you guys can message me personally on Instagram at Gage Girl Training. If you're not on Instagram, you can shoot me an email Info at gagegirltraining.com, and this is how you spell Gage Girl Training. It's all one word, G-A-U-G-E. Um, and you are so right, Nancy Drew. Doctors, they really don't understand nutrition. Like, they don't. And I think doctors get so much more credit <laughs> than they're due. What, what's a doctor do? A doctor will tell you the appropriate medicine. They are in the pocket of Big Pharma. They, they are in the pocket of big pharma. So the thing is, food is the best medicine. Not drugs, not pills, not... You shouldn't be in your 50s on hormonal birth control. They want to keep sucking money away from... Like, <laughs> out of you guys. Like, they're not trying to heal you. Like, they're not. Like, if they were trying to heal you... Food is the best medicine, and I, I cannot reiterate that enough. You were just made aware that your testosterone is extremely low. I would encourage you to, um, I would encourage you to, um, to go on the hormone reset and the hormone reset supplements, and the magnesium kept. kept you wait magnets kept you awake and when you stopped it you slept like a baby what what do you mean by magnets maybe it's a typo um you're waiting for a call from the pharmacist to fix it oh boy um and then pumping you with statins for your cholesterol speaking of statins did you guys know that has anyone here heard of the dietary supplement red yeast rice red yeast rice contains a statin in it called lovastatin. Lovastatin is chemically identical to Lipitor. Did you guys know that? Red yeast rice in capsule form in your local pharmacy, in your Walgreens, in your CVS, in your Target. It's the same thing as chemically. It's the same thing. They, in fact, they actually... Um, when they were creating Lipitor, the, the, the big drug, they modeled it after the chemical naturally found in red yeast rice. And it just goes to show you that you have to stay educated, you have to stay woke. And you. I, I love the fact that my followers and the people who are naturally drawn to my content, you guys are the type of people that read between the lines. You guys understand what I'm saying? You guys are educated consumers you know that there has to be a better way. You are not afraid to understand the science and I make the science accessible for everybody. And um, pick up my book, pick up the shred meal plan. Oh, magnesium, magnesium. Um, very good. Um, so with that being said, does anyone else have any other questions that I may answer? Um, if any of you guys want to do my next challenge, which is going to be the winter challenge, I will be posting more information about the next challenge very soon. So you guys um, have the opportunity to get in on that. But I love you guys. I have been enjoying these live streams and I'm going to be doing them much more often because... I love interacting with you guys in this way, and it's been so long. Um, Ruby says, I have an appointment with my PCP in a couple weeks. Should I request that she run specific hormone tests and they do the blood work? I'm 44, and I have no idea if I have any hormone issues. Yes. Yes, I want you to get your estrogen tested, your progesterone, your testosterone, your DHEA, your hemoglobin A1C, your fasting blood glucose, and your cortisol. Get those things tested. 
get those things tested and looked at. Um, so Deshaun Burns, I'm so glad you guys, and I, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to be showing up more in these lives because I love the interaction. I love talking to you guys directly. So again, before you guys sign off, I just ask you two things. Give this a thumbs up. It's the simplest thing you guys could do for me. Even if you never buy a program from me ever, just give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out here on YouTube. And go to Amazon, check out the book, go to my website and uh, and pick up your shred. Just make sure you take the quiz. Take the quiz. If there's any questions, please let us know. Um, I hope this diet works. I've been low carb, but I have stalled. Girl, I'm telling you, it is going to make a huge difference. So I have a very, very, very high success rate and I would love to support you. So trust the process, girl. But have a great day, everyone. I'll talk to you guys later. And again, before you log off, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Peace out, friends.